Hi, we are Project Kratos, a multidisciplinary team of 50 plus students from various engineering backgrounds. And we are proud to present our latest rover, Kratos Mark IV. The team is subdivided into six subsystems, mechanical, control, arm, power, science and autonomous. We have an in-house workshop within our university where we carry out various mechanical jobs such as CNC, lathe, etc. We also have access to a fabrication and prototyping lab on campus where we house multiple 3D printers, a plasma cutter, a laser cutter and a PC milling machine. The mechanical subsystem is responsible for the creation, research and development of all rover assemblies. This year, a focus was on enhancing strength, durability and efficiency. We've revamped the suspension, making it lighter yet stronger and introduce a new wheel design for better grip. Our core rover has a removable electronics box and a foldable antenna. We are, we are working on manufacturing our wheels by molding polyurethane. The arm features a linear gripper that is lighter, more precise and with increased grip strength, capable of handling larger shapes. Additionally, we have redesigned the live detection assembly from the ground up, integrating a dedicated arm with an in-house developed auger for precise soil collection. The rover utilizes 2.4 GHz omnidirectional and sector antennas for communication. It is equipped with a joystick for control at the base station for teleoperation up to 1 km non-LOS. Our improved video compression algorithms eliminate the need for camera feed switching supporting up to 4 simultaneous feeds. Wheel velocities are calculated on the Raspberry Pi using a differential drive model and communicated to the motor drivers via ESP32 using a custom serial protocol. Feedback from the wheel odometry through optical encoders enhances rover control. A custom systems check algorithm ensures rover readiness and efficient debugging. In case of communication loss, the rover autonomously retraces its path using a stereo camera, GPS and wheel odometry data. The rover autonomously traverses paths using a pure pursuit controller with a PID controller as a failsafe. This has been tested thoroughly. We have in-house designed and assembled a 2S2P configuration LiPo battery to fit within the international travel limitations such that it meets our specific rover requirements and for efficient power transmission. This has further been integrated with a battery management system balancing the voltage requirement which accurately calculates state of charge based on the Coulomb counting method. A voltage sensor has been connected between the terminals of the motors to detect remotely whether the rover is killed or not. New PCBs meeting specifications of ARM, drive and science subsystems were designed and manufactured in-house, making the electronics onboard, modular and connection streamlined. The rover is tested for 90 minutes of continuous traversal. A kill switch is employed to shut down the rover in case of an emergency. Our new 5 degree of freedom robotic arm with carbon fiber links and advanced linear actuators boasts remarkable accuracy and can tackle dynamic heavy loads up to 6.5 kilograms. By integrating custom absolute angle encoders on the actuators and bevel motors, a proportional controller has been implemented on the end effector position. As a result, during missions, the end effector can be moved linearly along axes and the arm can be easily positioned to preset configurations. We made the switch from a parallel gripper to a linear gripper on the arm, enhancing strength and making operations easier. With the new arm setup, the rover can perform tasks like flipping switches, pushing buttons, screwing bolts, inserting a USB stick and opening drawers with ease. The rover can seamlessly switch from arm-based tasks to an autonomous task in less than 2 minutes. This year, the autonomous subsystem has focused on accurate localization, mapping and path planning. The new RTK module has allowed us to receive centimeter level accurate GPS coordinates through base and rover communication. A spiral search algorithm is deployed after reaching the fourth and subsequent GNSS coordinates. The AR tabs are detected using OpenCV library, where we use a P-controlled visual surrounding algorithm to reach the tags. The LED lights is used to signal when the goal is reached. We have implemented hybrid ASTAR and dynamic window approach as a global and local planner. We have also trained a custom Euro model for mallet and bottle detection. For the science assembly, we have implemented a robotic arm with an auger capable of drilling and collecting soil from the stipulated depth. A soil water solution is made and transferred to cuvettes through custom peristatic pumps to perform a KMNO4 test for active carbon and Bradford assay for protein. These cuvettes are then analyzed by a spectral sensor helping identify different biomarkers. Using a logitech camera, rock images are taken and processed by a CNN model trained on our improved data set to classify the rock. The digital microscope is used to take a high resolution picture of the soil which is then compared with the soil Munsell chart. With the help of data from atmospheric and gas sensors, we can study the habitability conditions and distinguish between life. As a part of our educational outreach program, we train over 200 plus university students about the necessary topics required to create and run a mass rover. From this pool of students, we also perform our recruiting, thereby allowing people with no past robotic experience to also learn and join the project.